Now let us try and analyze what I have said about myself. All right. See the first word when I say I am from a modest family. It shows that I have worked hard and I have made my way up. And I am trying to be humble but not shy of the hard work. And I am being realistic and practical. I am not boasting about my social status. Whether I am from a royal family or whether I am from a small family of peasants, that doesn't matter. What matters is I take pride from where I belong to. And then the next thing is I talk about my father and my mother, where they work and as what. Here I am trying to convey the social status and the position which my parents occupy. But more important than that is that I value my parents. My parents have got a strong meaning in my life. Whether my parents work as a chief executive of a company or whether they are a clerk in a small organization, that does not matter. What is important is that they find a mention when I speak about myself. Then I speak about my schooling and my graduation. Here what I am trying to do is convey my qualification as well as the reputation of my school and university. Secondly, I am taking pride in taking the name of my school and university and indirectly I am acknowledging their contribution in my life and my career. Then when I talk about my previous organization, I am actually trying to tell the interview panel that I was an important person in the previous organization. I am also telling them about the nature of job or the assignments which I was handling and also conveying that I am proud of my previous organization. Why I am leaving the job or why I am changing the job is a different matter altogether. But at least I am conveying that I am not leaving as a disgruntled person or I am not being kicked out from there. I am proud of my organization and if I can be proud of my previous organization then the interview panel will certainly feel that I will be proud of the new organization. Then here I am talking about my siblings, my brothers and sisters. By saying that my siblings are well settled and working for good companies, I am trying to tell them that I am free of all domestic hurdles. There are no unwarranted domestic problems or concerns in my family and I can devote my full time wholeheartedly to the organization. So you see in a short introduction about myself, I have conveyed certain positive aspects about several things. One, I have conveyed about my family background. Then I have conveyed about my family, my family ethos and that I concern or I am concerned about my family. I care about my family. Then I have talked about my schooling, my graduation, the reputation of my school and college and I have also acknowledged their contribution in my life. Then I have also spoken about the extracurricular activities in which I have participated. And I have also conveyed that I have done well in extracurricular activities. Then I have conveyed that in my previous organization I was an important person and the nature of jobs which I have been handling in the previous organization. Thereafter, I have conveyed that I am loyal to my previous organization. I take pride in my previous organization and that is what I will do for my new organization. And then I have also conveyed to them in the end that I am totally available to your organization. I do not have any hindrances in the family. All my family members are well settled and I am looking for a good job and progression in my career. I will be available to you wholeheartedly. And in the end, I have also been modest in offering them if they want to ask any specific question about me. Alright.